Hey folks, this is Pete from Pete's Tackle. Hey, we're doing a three-part series on making silicone centrifugal casting cast molds for uh, the centrifugal casting machine here. Uh, this is what we work with. This is our raw here. Get that out of the way. That's our raw mold material. Comes in four pieces. So a total of one inch thick. So this is a mold that is done. So this is a 16th. I kind of screwed up on this one. Could have put more in there. I didn't space them out right. So uh, beginner's luck. Still works though. Just done 2,000 jigs with it the other day. So get my indicator set in there. And let's get on with the video. So what we're doing is we're going to be making these molds. I'm showing you a couple pieces of the molds, what happens in the beginning and to the end. So with that, this is, I said it's a three-part series. So we're going to have mold making, the first part of the mold making. The next part will be cutting in the uh, kiss gates and the gates. And the last part will be burning the mold in and tuning it in on, on this series. So I had it all done, put together in one fell swoop, but it was over an hour long. So I needed to go in and do some editing, get it down into time frame for you guys so we can get some watch time on it and stuff like that. So with watch time said, go down there and hit that subscribe bell down there. And then over in the corner there's a Pete's Tackle logo. Go down and hit that Pete's Tackle logo. That'll subscribe you too. And then when you hit that, you'll be notified with a ringy dingy bell. Hit that ringy dingy bell. That lets you know when I've got a video out. So that's cool. And with all three of these videos here, I'd like to have your comments, please. Please comment down below in the bottom there. Uh, I'll try to put everything that I need to put in there in the description. So, as I said, three-part series. This is series number one. Hey, folks. We're back to, with you for another segment. I actually cut the molds last night, uh, put the gates in last night, and the kiss gate and the, and the run in last night on size uh, 16th. Today I'm going to be doing, showing you how I mold them in my mold frame. See, this is my mold frame. This is still dirty from yesterday from the silicone mold. We're going to clean it up real quick get it ready for the uh, uh, take take on the silicone and I'll go through the steps on that for you so here's my mold ma masters right here these are my mold masters right here so that's the uh, 32nd ounce 1 32nd ounce so that's what we're gonna be using today I'm thinking we're gonna get probably 25 to a run in the nine inch frame. So, all right, get that one pretty much done, ready to go. All right, the center ring. This isn't so bad. This is you can pretty much wipe out. Uh, I get in there and wipe it out, get all the remnants of the old stuff out of there clean it up there that's done so we're ready for silicone all right so we're gonna get that going right now I'm gonna go grab me a silicone all right here's my molds my raw molds so this is how everything starts out it's out there so I lay lay my paper in and I'm gonna use the mold frame to get my paper laid out in the proper size. Alright, now the cutting just starts. I do a nice cut around the... and I have an exact copy.
there we go that's cut out there we go we got our two pieces now of paper one for the top one for the bottom okay now we'll put our mold frame down I sure enjoy doing that. Uh, it's a lot of fun making these. So now I'll lay that in there. So and then we'll take our first silicone, which is the bottom here. And if you see, there's a little circular indentation there. This one has it. This is the actual bottom, but we'll take this one here. And we got to spray silicone on it and hit it with some, uh, hit it with some mold release silicone. So she comes out of there real well. Get my chocolate. So, all right, there we go. So this is a regular mold right here. I took the plastic off. What we're going to do is take up the silicone here. Make sure everything's in frame. Yep. We're going to take up the silicone. All right, folks. I just changed the the deal on the deal so we have more of a view here. So I'm going to spray my silicone on my plate here. Uh oh. This high side has just straight silicone. I took the plastic off. And we want to put some powder in the frame and on the shebangadonga. All right, that's good. So I'm gonna wipe my hands off so I don't get no powder on the mold itself. It won't have a good adhere on the other side. And right here, if you look at it, there's another layer of plastic on there. We're going to lift that off there. Cool. Lay that down there. And I fold it just a hair to get it in. And get her in there. Yep. There we go. And you want to make sure there's no air in it at all. So, all right, we've got that one done. This is a quick one here. And then we'll be off, off to the races. So. layer in there making sure there's no air in the middle all right all right we got to get in a couple other things I'm gonna get my acorn nuts for my locators there's a handful of acorn nuts for locators and we are just about ready to start with this project here. All right, here's uh, my gate and inlet right here, uh, mold. You can make your own in there if you'd like, or you can just use this. I'll, I prefer these. The guys that have been in the business for a long time, before these were, before these were invented, for the other way I don't know but you want to get that powdered up because you don't want it sticking to your mold so we want to get there so the next thing is your calipers 
and your tape measure. So, so four and a half inches to the center is what we want here. All right, so I lay out my tape measure. And I want five and a half inches. All right. Well, didn't have it quite right there. I was an inch and a half, one inch off. Okay, so I take it on my tape measure. This will get me close to center. So what I'm trying to do is find absolute center here. Not quite center. Got her. So we'll lay this back in here. I want to do a half inch in. So I want to. I'll take my tape measure and I'm at five and a half. So I'm going to go down to five inches. I want a half inch inlay. So this will give me my outside right here where I lay my hooks. The back of my hook will be here and my acorn nuts will go around the outside of this. So got that. So now this is side of my deal there. So I lay that in there. That should sit in there. Like so. And I do this little trick. I pop one of the centers out of the top and lay them all in so I know that I got it pretty on. That'll work. So I'm actually quite a ways off there. Oh well, that'll work. So, and then I'll come that in there where I want it. Pop her off. And then I'll come in here This is where I want my jig heads. The head of my jig will go right there. process is laying the jigs in there where we want so we got, got all these jigs I hopefully I cleaned them if I, oh I didn't so I'm gonna clean these and I'll be right back with you folks all right now we're back back at it had to take a little break there for a second so 
get these all laid out in here. And you want your masters good and clean, otherwise it'll take every little impression there is, and it'll be on that jig for the rest of eternity. So, and I notice I missed a spot right here. There we go. Touch them up a little bit. Take that time. Now, if these had necks on them, I would have to be doing some venting with them. But I don't think I'll have to do any venting with these. So that'll be cool. Laying them out. Well, folks, uh, these jigs will be used for my Sassy Stinger. It's uh, sold mainly for ice fishing, but I, sell, I use them year-round. They're awesome. They catch crappie, everything perch trout two more oh man that that is seven so there's the two sides as i do they got the little tails on them the plastics when they're all done they look like those and there's the 16th with the size six on right there so they're really good little jigs now we got the next step get my little That's not too far after this, and it's it's pretty much done after this. So, what I'm doing here, you'll see what I'm doing. I probably should lay in all right. So, I'm taking my uh, putty here my silicone and we're going to cut that in uh, strips and this will hold my hooks when I when you put the mold together that'll hold the hooks in And you just make a little slice in it and you just pop the hook in. So that's pretty cool how that works. Got 30 of them to do. Oh, folks, I am sorry. I silicone sprayed my mold release and powdered this. Need to put the acorns in there. Your locators. So I want to be about a sixteenth in from the from the edge of the mold. Uh, but I want to show you guys my learning process along uh, with it, and I promised you I would, and here we are doing it. All right, there we go. Locators are in. We're gonna lay this in there, and I come in with it, yep, just like that, and I work that around. You'll find where the locators are and you don't want to have air pockets in there. But that's getting get pressed down here just shortly. So we save all of our silicone there. We will use that later on. This one goes in on top of that one. Mm. 
Okay. So the halves are together. They're quarter inch thick. Uh, I can get another mold plate that's thicker than this and I can do thicker jigs. Uh, but at this point in time, I don't need another mold frame for that. Uh, so, but. All right, now it comes to the next step. A lot of this silicone stuff used. Spray it on there. And then comes back your talc. Top one, I don't worry about blowing it off or anything. It gets that paper off there at the end really easily. So now we're ready to put the top on and the paper. All right, here we go. Praise the Lord. There's the top. You can, there's companies out there that will build molds for you. Uh, anywhere from $100 a mold to $300 a mold. So. Okie doke. There we go. I'm going to grab my. There they are. Let me spin them on. Next process after this, it goes in the oven for 45 minutes at 150. So I got my gauge set where I want it, and we're going to start tightening down. You don't want to tighten it too much because it'll push out your silicone out the, the bottom. I don't know how it gets out, but it's like water if it ain't sealed up tight. So we're going to test that and see where we're at. Yep. That's just about perfect. Just a little bit on each one. All right, folks. All right. So, well, that's going into the oven, and it will be coming out in an hour and 90 minutes. And I will let you guys know when I take it out and get ready to demold it. All right. All right, folks. We'll see you at the next segment. Folks, we just got it out of the oven. We're getting ready to demold it. Got my handy dandy demolding tool here. These things are pretty darn tight. Don't look like we had any. Ah, there we go. It takes a while to get these suckers loose. I just put them on super hand tight but there's some swelling and heat and all that stuff does weird stuff you're going to be bouncing around here folks let me change the cameras here i'll do that for you folks give me two seconds 
All right, folks, we're back. I stabilized it. I put it on a solid mount instead on the table. It was going to get shaky. Where are we at? Oh, right here. This molds at 320 degrees right now. That's why we're using the gloves. Looking good. And I'll put on my other gloves to finish this next part up. These are like custers gloves here so folks you want to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that ringy dingy bell that'll notify you whenever I put a video up so this is going to be a long video uh, just due to the fact there's quite a bit to it and I want to show you all the different little steps to it so but we're getting it demolded now. All right, first things first, let's pop the top. Don't look like we had a whole lot of we didn't have a whole lot of overflow or sink out of the mold from what it looks like right now. So that's good. So that's demolded. Yeah, we got a little bit on the top, not much. See the newspaper on the top? So, all right, let's pop the next section off. That usually pops off pretty easy. All right, get that out. And see, we got just a little bit of run out there, not much. That's good. All right, get my next tool here this next tool we're going to go into the mold here and start working our way around it breaking it free from the frame and i think we have yes we have and that's out of the frame now first thing you do before you do anything is i grab my router here and i'm going to cut an indicator spot in the in the mold that shrunk up a little bit uh, hit it again there we go a little deeper there we are. all right we got our indicator mark my next step is taking the newspaper off i usually take my gloves off for that because it's That mold is hot. Wow. So this is our bottom half of the mold here. And we got all that. This is just that heat does crazy stuff to that. So I'll get under this piece here and start working her. And that stuff gets like plastic after it comes out of the mold. It just wants to stick to whatever it can stick to. Static, I guess that's what they want to call it. Yeah, we'll call it static. It's mold over. And we'll find a... Ah, there we go. Sometimes it comes off easy, sometimes it don't. Praise the Lord. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alrighty. So, my next step after that is I've got a little bit of flashing here on the sides, uh, top and bottom, not much. So, what we're looking at 
for our mold is a nice even straight line at the separation point here see how she's nice and even a little bit of droopage there but not much but that's pretty even there so this is a scalpel so this one don't look this side don't need much the bottom but up here on top there's just a little bit so I come in here with my scalpel and I'll start at my indicator there and I'm just going to slowly rotate this mold around and get all that off of there that way when it goes into the machine it has nothing poking up or protruding to cause your molds to your cast to get bad so there you go got that done all right now we're back to this tool again so what you want to do when you're separate you know you find the separation mark here there we go she's starting to let free now work her and you want to pull it work it around and it's going to get tight down here by the where the that came out pretty darn good and we'll push the gate out and that's done and as you can see if you remember we put all them little red things in there for hook keepers and we'll just make a slice by each one of those and that's you just pop your hook in there and just flop her down in the, where the hook eye goes and that works great so we're going to call it a day and i will be back to you tomorrow all right folks we'll see you tomorrow oh hey hey whoa whoa stop stop stop, stop. don't forget subscribe go down and hit the ringy big bell after the scribe don't forget to like this video and please send your comments good or bad you have a wonderful day